Hey guys, I'm going to talk about hedging your bets. And recently a card that I love was banned. It is Profit Accrue Fix. If you watched my previous video, I think there's a video where I, I purchased 100 Profits Accrue Fix. Luckily, I didn't purchase any more of them. I actually purchased a hedge. And this is actually the black binder. I don't know if you've ever seen this binder before, but it is, I'm trying to find a card. And I hedged my bet with this card. So the card is not Wild Nakado, although that's beautiful. Seaborn Muse is the card. This is the black binder. Uh, Seaborn Muse, I now own about 15 of them. And I was like, what if Profit gets banned? What am I going to do then? Oh, I know. I'll, I'll buy Seaborn Muse, <laughs> which was like real low. If you look at the card, I don't know exactly how much it's gone up because it's so volatile. But I think it's gone up like 20 bucks recently after the ban because people have to use Seaborn Muse now and I had a ton of copies of it. I think that was my hedge because I've always, I look at the card and before I say I love it, I have to be like, hmm, is there a card that does something similar to this? And what if this card, so everyone knows Profit is that good. If you play Profit, you win. It is one of those cards that if you're blue and green and you play your Profit, people are going to scoop and they're going to be upset and I, I know. so. When I put the money into Profit, which wasn't a lot, because Profit was always like a dollar card, but it took a while to accumulate that 100 copies of it. I knew that I needed to hedge my investment against that. I don't really call it investment. That's a poor choice of words. I knew I wanted to hedge what if something bad happens to my profits. And I looked at a card, and it was Seaborn Muse, and I was like, huh, if... Profits go down in price, Seaborn Muse will go up in price, so let me put them in my black binder. So my black binder, I have cards that are on a ban list, or the cards that I think if another card gets banned, the card will go up in price. Uh, it also has foil punishing fires, it's got obviously the wild Nakado foils, and things of that nature. But uh, I look at it, and I say to myself, hmm, Profit gets banned, I'm kind of in trouble, is the, you know after every banning or every unbanning a card will spike unbanning is very easy it's very simple it's a simple level of hey the card goes gets unbanned even if it's not good it'll go up in price just like something like punishing fire punishing fire is like 15 cents right now if it gets unbanned it hits two dollars no problem no problem but will it ever be unbanned probably not i don't know uh, Birthing Pod, I'm starting to collect a few of those, but probably only foils. Foils are still relatively expensive, and I'm waiting for the price to go down still. But one of the biggest things I've done, and I've thought about this, is second level it. Hey, Profit gets banned, and I'm buying Profit. So if Profit gets, is not banned, then I'm fine, because I'm sitting on a ton of Profits. If Profit is banned, and I'm sitting on a ton of Profits, I need to hedge it. And this was a very good example. I, I think I get really weird, like kind of heads bets because I understand the game. Like I don't understand the game like a lot of you do. I don't play like that. I play it quite often and I read articles and stuff about it, but it's my personal opinion about a card. So it's not like I read someone's article telling me to buy. I don't read finance articles. I don't read any finance articles about magic. I've always made my opinions by myself and I've always said, oh, profit. It's a good card. I played it and it's very strong. I played it on my decks. It's very abusive. Could it be banned one day? Huh. And if it is banned, is there a card like Seaborn Muse which will benefit from it? Then I go ahead, buy my profits first and then buy my Seaborns and put them in the black binder. And then from that point on, I'm fine because if it gets banned, great. I have Seaborn Muse. If it does not get banned, great. I have 100 profits. So I've always felt that way. And I've even gone to the point, like, my favorite speculations are when you take an 8 cent card and you turn it into a dollar, a 250, and you can trade four of them, like, into a shock land. That just makes me happy. There's nothing better than seeing trading pretty much, like, 8 cents times 32 cents for a shock land. Would I buy, how many Shocklands would you buy at 32 cents? Probably like as many as you could get. And the Underground Connection, or Underworld Connection, that card, whatever that card was called, I was able to just accumulate Shockland after Shockland. And it was a, I gave them more value than the Shockland was worth as a playset. 
and that just made me happy. But also the Seaborn Muses, obviously I had to get rid of them soon. But it's a good head. And uh, that's something that I wanted to share with you because I don't hide stuff from you. Uh, this black binder is actually kind of new. It's a new concept. I've always kind of done the heads binder just kind of randomly, but now I've just put all my uh, hedges in this black binder of uh, banning and unrestricts, stuff like that. So I'm sure that I'm going to have foil splinter twins in there soon enough, but definitely not right now. I think the price has quite a bit. It's fallen, it's collapsed, but it's got quite a bit more to, room to uh, go down in my opinion. Anyway, that is the heads. Bye guys.